Hey guys, welcome to Kyle's Film Garage. Uh, we are going from Shreveport, Louisiana, on the way back to Los Angeles. So today we begin this journey, and um, but first, you know, everything starts with coffee. If you know me, everything starts with coffee, so I got my coffee. And um, this is one of those like fancy machines at Circle K where they grind the beans, and then it like, so it's like fresh ground beans in the coffee, and I couldn't be more happy about that right now. So, but uh, what I'm gonna do right now is put some petrol in this here uh, vehicle. So, you know, the gasoline type stuff. So let's do that. Yeah, not much, just topping it off. So I'm gonna go get the chain. Coffee check, gas check. So let's go over, uh, let's check the oil and do all that stuff before we get on the road. All right, oil, check, check, we're good to go. Since I have bugs all over my windshield, I bought this like uh, this glass cleaner. So we'll see if it, if it does better than Windex. The guy said like it doesn't leave streaks, it does good. So um, I'm gonna see if I can like, you know, do something like uh, clean some bugs off the windshield and make sure that I can freaking see through it because it's difficult to see through bugs when you're trying to look at the road, you know? All right, let's do it. say not so bad you know I mean it's a little streaky but I'll go touch that up and uh, let's hit the road all right my friends beautiful day clear skies we are on the I-20 West headed towards Los Angeles Pine trees. We're gonna see um, the pine trees kind of get smaller as we go farther east and then turn into other kind of trees and, uh, and then turn into desert. So it'll be fun and I'm here to point it out. So, <laughs> all right, my friends, I will see you later. We are coming into Texas right now. Welcome to Texas. So, um, you know, when you're going like freeway speeds and then all of a sudden uh, you come to a stop. And um, so, yeah, so uh, this is on the freeway, you know, about 80 miles out of Dallas. And uh, yeah, going about five miles an hour. So we just don't know what's going on right now. But, um, these are the things that happen when you're on the road and things happen. So so we're just gonna chill out, listen to a little Gary Clark Jr. I can't play it because then I'd get flagged and whatnot for playing music. So you see what you would see a lot of is me like jamming out, singing Hamilton, um, you know, listening to music, dancing to music, um, this is what I do, but I can't play music, so you don't get to see that. But um, but I can tell you about it, so that's what I do. And um, so yeah, so right now we're just kind of hanging out, hanging out on uh, on this beautiful I-20, surrounded by semis. Let's say hello to the UPS truck, and uh, 
and say hello to this uh, guy in front of us. And let's see who's behind us. Oh, look at that, more semis. So yeah, we're, uh, we're surrounded by a bunch of semis and um, not going anywhere. So uh, I'll keep you posted. Yeah, so sometimes things are not revealed, but uh, we're moving again. So, all right, onward. So, I don't know if, if you've ever been to the south or if you live in the south, and, and you'll know what I'm talking about here, but um, Borden ice cream. See, right now we're, up, we're behind Elsie the cow, and um, Elsie the cow is the representative of Borden ice cream, and I mean, they do, it's dairy, but they do milk and stuff like that. But I'm just here to talk about the ice cream because damn, Gordon ice cream is some of the best ice cream that you will have. So um, you, you had it here, you heard it here first and um, order some Gordon ice cream and try it. I am not a paid representative of Gordon. No one made money from talking about Elsie the cow just now, okay? So, everyone who's like wondering, like, you know, is Borden a sponsor? Borden is not a sponsor. It's just a truck in front of me right now and I'm talking about the ice cream. <sighs> anyway, it's really good. You gotta try it. Check this out. It's so cool, the stuff you see on the road. I mean, that's a tank, and I'm like right next to it. That is so cool. We are gonna come up on another tank. Of course, I don't know, some kind of, maybe it's not a tank. But it is a tracked vehicle. Looks like a damn thing to me. Who knows what it's actually for? I don't know. If anybody knows what that is, then uh, yeah, leave that in the comments because that's pretty cool. All right, I'll see you soon. So I have actually never been to a Bucky's. I know that this is like a famous stop kind of place. So um, I'm going to go to a Bucky's and check out those Great Danes. That is freaking awesome. So, all right. So let's go into Bucky's, shall we? First, I think it is common courtesy to say hello to the mascot. So this is the, uh, the, the Bucky's mascot. So he says hello to all of you as well. So let's go inside, shall we? Bucky's has lots of ice. Bucky's is hiring. Bucky's has fire pits and smokers. Bucky's has firewood and deer corn. I don't know what that is. So Bucky's is huge. Check this out. Chickens. Lots of chickens. You can have your uh, your pick of, of the kind of chicken you want. And look at that. There's a bird right on the other side. It's like a real bird by the chickens. This is all fascinating stuff here. You are the eggs to my bacon. This is very clever stuff. South's best butts. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yep. Got the uh, village gourmet. Awesome. Some colorful pasta servers.
Look at that. That's kind of cool. So if you need a, a, um, a cow skull covered in, in, uh, in blue or green glass, you can get that here. Yep, we have the, the uh, America or Texas colors up there. Oh, we have another one. We have another one. Check that out. That's, that's extra fancy right there. That is super extra fancy. So don't tell my wife, Tracy, but I'm gonna get a couple of these uh, Bucky's t-shirts. So, I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, you have to, I, I, I think. We, we just can't pass up this opportunity to get a Bucky's t-shirt. So, shh, it's our secret. Okay, so th those were long sleeves, so I didn't realize that. I made a mistake, so, but this is what we're doing. So we're gonna get the, the Peace, the Peace, Love, and Bucky's, which has the Peace, Love, and Bucky's. That's the back of the shirt. So they actually have that, that mannequin backwards, but uh, I want to show you the front of the shirt. I mean, the front of the shirt, it's your classic Bucky's, you know? Listen, people, I mean, I don't make up the rules. I'm just saying that if, if you pass this place, you got to get a Bucky's shirt. And also, no, I am not sponsored by Bucky's, okay? I'm just saying that these are the rules. Get a Bucky's shirt and join my Patreon, Kyle Hester Actor Guy, for $3, and then we can continue making independent film. Just $3. And you get all kinds of cool stuff like this, you know, for $3, except more film related stuff also, in addition to my ridiculousness. So, okay. So let's go look around a little bit more and get out of here, get back on the road. I mean, this is beef jerky. This is, this is all kinds of beef jerky. Look at that. Look at that, it's like a wall. It is like, have you ever seen Pink Floyd The Wall? Well, this is like the beef jerky style of Pink Floyd The Wall. So, that's pretty cool. I don't know, I don't think that he would, I mean, what do what beavers eat? Do they eat beef jerky? I don't think so. All right, so Bucky's has miles and miles of snacks and treats and sugar so i'm gonna say that you can probably load up on whatever you want here because i mean look at this it's just it's just miles of i mean no okay okay uh, all right all right okay okay i'm not i'm exaggerating stuff things that you can eat look at this look at this yogurt raisins banana chip mix Apricots? Ooh, that's good. Maybe I'll put apricots. I'll get some apricots. This is me getting apricots. The Bucky's apricots. What else? See, the, the problem with these things is you can't read the ingredients because it's so small. So, I'll, I'll just never know what's in it. Corn syrup, can't have it. Did you know that you can get Bucky's coolers? The soft side coolers. Did you know this? That Bucky's has everything? I mean, I didn't know what I was getting into here, but Bucky's, I mean, look at this. A vertical pellet smoker. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And what is this? Cajun fryer at Bucky's. At Bucky's, people. You too. You too can make fried stuff if you come to Bucky's and buy it fried stuff Cajun fryer fried stuff I don't know what that would be it's 
far as like Cajuns go. I mean, I know a little bit about Cajuns being that I'm from Louisiana and also Cajun. So what do you fry? Turkeys? No, I don't know. I don't know what you fry Cajuns fried. They're boiled crabs, a lot of boiled barbecue. I don't really know about the fried thing. All right. All right, we're gonna check out, we're gonna get out of here, but this is some pretty awesome stuff. That was fun. Everybody say goodbye to Bucky. We gotta get back on the road. Bye, Bucky. Bye. Bye, Bucky. All right, let's get back on the road, shall we? So, if you're not from a big city, and don't have freeways like this, this is, freeways are like we're in Fort Worth right now and uh, so this is like a four-lane freeway going both ways and it's huge and everybody drives pretty fast and um, so welcome to Texas it's pretty much pretty much like this it's like people are renowned for driving fast and um, on the Texas freeways and, and whatnot I grew up in Houston so it's always been like this. Um, yeah. So if you drive through Texas, just be prepared for people that drive really fast. So yeah. All right. So Fort Worth, that is where we are now. And I will see you in a minute. construction kind of go from like uh, two lanes to one lane to two lanes cement things. The light truck is doing the light truck things, living its life. And then we open up.
Good morning, my friends. So before I let you know where we ended up staying, um, subscribe to the channel, click like, share it, comment, do all that kind of stuff because it helps in the algorithm, as you know. And also go to the Patreon, Kyle Hester Actor Guy, for three bucks. Get all kinds of behind the scenes stuff from past movies and future movies. And that's actually how we're gonna keep movies going into the future. So if you could do that, that would be fantastic. Now, where did I stay? So we are at the Motel 6 in Monahans, Texas. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's where we ended up. So where we're gonna go today, you will find out in the next video. So stay tuned, check it out, signing off.